That's a change in the very early days we, we distributed uh, data sets via magnetic tape and by floppy disks and when they truly were floppy um, and by things like Bernoulli cartridges and but the web really changed the distribution of data and we were able to introduce distribution through the web and to make it free um, and that really increased the usage of DHS data. Stack Compiler we developed originally back in the late 90s. Um, it was pretty much one of the first tools for getting access to uh, aggregated indicated data over the web. Uh, the first of its kind in, uh, I wouldn't say in the world, but uh, pretty close to it. There were very, very few resources like this where you could get a customized table of indicators, uh, just what you needed um, at your fingertips over the web. And this is back in about 1999. The mobile app is, uh, is really an extension of the Stack Compiler and it, it, it's an application that runs on, a, on an iPhone or an Android uh, handheld um, and allows you to access the uh, data that's in the Stack Compiler uh, just right there at your fingertips. And it's, it's um, on an online software but it also works offline so you can be sitting in a meeting not connected to anything and you can pull up some of the stats about a country um, right there. It's, it's been used widely by USAID staff uh, in exactly that way and they reported that you know, it was great I was able to grab the total fertility rate from my country straight from the app.